Hey guys, I am Nishan and welcome to Cybernetico. So today, let me introduce you to my new series, which will be called React Interview Questions. And on this particular video, we will focus on two functions from JavaScript called Map and Filter, which are most important functions. They are also used in JavaScript, but in this video, we will show how to use them in React, which is pretty similar to JavaScript. So to use the Map and Filter, we will display all the data from the API coming to this here. From which API? We will display all the data in this UI at the place of this one card, which is returning my name and username. Fine. So initially we are getting the data in the response in the console. Let me show you what I mean. Open the console. Let me have this. Let me show you this. We are getting all this data here. So first step is first step to do this here is to create a variable and in react variables are simply called states. So I mean we call them states because they can change the property. So let me create a state or variable called users, which is the variable name. And to set the data, we will have this set users function. And in this use state, we will have to use an array because all the data is in an array C followed by objects. So let me store them here. Save this and let me just now use the map. So to use the map function, we can just we can just use first the array name, which is called users users dot map. Then it takes a parameter called user. And from this parameter, we have to return the HTML. Wait, something is yes, now fine, which is called we have to return some HTML called div or anything we want. Yes. So see, here we have the data like ID, name, username, email address, all the data. So this name, username, email, they are called keys. So to show the keys, so sorry, so the values, which are this Leon Graham, Brett, all the data, we have to use the value. So to show the value, we will just use user dot name. But wait, let me copy this card inner and paste it here. Then in the p tag, I will just say user dot name. And here we will just we will say user dot username. Username. Let me see the correct key. This yes, small username. Fine. Save and see. All the data is now being displayed here from this API. So this name is called the key, and the Leon Graham and bit is called the value. Now, because the object exists in key value pairs. All right. So that's how map works. Now let me give you another example of what we can do with map. Let me create a function here, say map data data. It's done. It's a function. Then let's just multiply the ID with two because it's a number. So how to do that? We will just first use the users. First, let me create one more array called let's say mapped array. So in this array, so I mean this this map, if you are mapping any array, it will return a new array, not the previous one because it's transformed. So let's say we want to multiply the users by two. I mean the user ID. So we can do this user. Then we can say user dot ID multiplied by two. Now in this array of mapped array, all the IDs will be multiplied by two. So we will get 2, then 2 into 2, 4, then 6, and 4 into 8, and so on. Let me console.log this mapped array. Let me create a function to trigger this. Sorry, not a function to but a button. Yes. So see, C mapped array. So just assign the function to this button using onclick event. Now, if we click, click this button, it will 
run. So let me remove this two first. I think we don't need any other thing, just this. Or let me leave it. Let me add the button outside. Here. For your difference. Let me add it here. Fine. If we click this button, all the mapped array we will be shown in the console. All the id is multiplied by 2. Let me get it to bottom. Wait a sec. How to add it? Yes. Here. Click mapped array. See mapped array. And see. On the line number 20, on line number 14, we are seeing all the mapped array multiplied, mul mapped array IDs multiplied by 2, like 2, 4, 6, 8 and all. So, so that's how map works. Now let me show you how filter works. So first of all, let's say, uh, okay, wait, let me remove this. Save this. Let's say we want to see only those names whose name whose first letter starts from A. So how do we do that? We will filter the data from this user's array. So we will say let filtered data equals to use state and then we will add an empty array. No, wait, what I am doing? It's wrong. I am lost today. Yes, so we will do users dot filter to filter data. And same like the map, it takes an user parameter. Then we will have to return something like this. We will say return user dot wait, sorry, sorry. User what I don't know, user dot name equal to Lee and Graham. So let me just console this now to check if we are right or not. Open the console, click see mapped array. We have an array here of only one item because the condition is we are only filling the name of the user which has the name of Lee and Graham. If we make an A here, it will fetch all the data of the names starting from A. Not starting from not from A, we will fetch all the data which has the username of A. I think we will get an empty array. See, because none of the items have none of the names have a name name of A, just A. To check if all the items include a letter A, we can do this. Return user. Return user dot name to lower case includes our a this now let's try refresh it to lower case okay we don't need this fine now let's try c mapped array we are selling an empty because none of the i okay i think none of the items have a big a all of them are having a small a yes so make it a small a then we will see all the items with a in them which have which are having seven items we are having seven items so this and this and this so that's how it works we can also do other properties like this so we can say user dot id if it is less than 5 we will see only them so if the user dot id is less than 5 so we will see 1 to 4 let me check now see mapped array and we are having only 4 data 1 to 3 and 4 if you want to see the fifth data from 1 to 5 we will have to make condition like this if return user dot id is less than or equal to 5. Now let's check. See, we now get all the data. Okay, so this map and filter can work together also. So let's say we filter the data with all the items less than 5, all the IDs less than 5. Uh, I mean less than equal to 5. So let's map them now in an array. 
so how to do that we can simply set this set users then filter data let me remove the data from here okay leave it leave it leave it we are setting data here first then we are filtering it if the user id is less than 5 or equal to 5 then let's check we are having 1 2 3 4 5 10 items if we click the button this will be changed to 5 1 2 3 4 5 or lien graham this 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 and this click the map array and see the array has now been filtered to only five items if we make it more than or equal to five let's see what happens we will see last five items like from mr miss dennis screw list see map array okay yes we are saying six items we have to remove equal to now let's try again see we are saying the last five items here okay so that's done okay now let me give you a simple example very simple example we will combine these two first i mean we will combine map and filter together so we will say let sorry const let's say numbers and set numbers let me have the numbers from 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 sorry 7 8 9 and let me also add 10 let me add them fine so here let me just comment it first here and then we will do it here so first let me console or let me just map these numbers here so to map the numbers we can simply do the thing like we did previously but this time we don't have the objects we have this just an array of 10 numbers so how do we show that so we can say this numbers dot map we will return the number and we can simply say div dot div a number but we have a problem we need one small bracket also and all the numbers are here let me add the class name of card here save and this one card inner here we have all the numbers 1 to 10 let me comment out this card this card and make this as numbers from 1 to 10 so we have 1 to 10 numbers in this array here of numbers now let me transform this array using map so first we will create an uh, let variable which will be called square root Fine. then we will simply map the numbers to get their square root squares not square root sorry fine so numbers dot map we will use map function just like before and it will take a number param so this number is all the numbers like 1 2 3 to 10 like 1 to 10 it will take a number param which is 1 to 10 and it will multiply each number 1 to 10 as we want let's say in this function we having a square then it will return number into number that is mainly make that mainly becomes the square root we can console dot log this number here sorry now number square let's check the console now we have an array of i i think i need to refresh the page no not refresh we have to click this button click it and we have the square of all the items inside like 1 4 9 16 and all fine that's done so here we can have two cases so in this console we are seeing all the numbers from 1 to 100 which are square of all the items so let's say we want the filter first let's say we want to filter or make the square root of one of those numbers which are less than 5 so how do we do that so let me remove and show you from the start we will say let let's num let number less than 5 equals so i will say number let me turn off this github copilot disable for java globally fine you can say number or numbers what is it 
it's it's numbers dot filter first we have filter them first it will take a param called number i mean all the numbers just like before then we will return this we will return all the numbers we want which are less than or equal to 5 it will return all the number not numbers number this number we want here it will return all the number less than 5 then if we, this function closes the filter function here we can say map then we want to store all the data in an array in this let numbers array so we can say let's say uh, mapped or filtered numbers let's say filtered fill turd turd yes spelling is now correct then again it will return us something it will return us all the data which is wait i am doing it wrong like this it will return us something so they can say return mm -mm. what do we need to return the filtered fine now let me store this number less than five in the set numbers array set numbers we are having yes less than we have to set this here now nah, yes that it now we are seeing all the numbers from one to five but now if we click the button it will first fill all the numbers less than five or equal to five then it will make a square root also yes we need this filtered into filtered to get the square root save let's try click the mapped array see mapped array button see we are seeing all the items less than or equal to five so we are saying five six it not not more than less than yes sorry less than five we want refresh the page the mapped array now we are seeing all the numbers which are less than five and the square roots so we have one so it's one we have two so it's four three nine four sixteen five twenty five fine so that's how we do it how map and filter works together so we have filter and then map now let's see to reverse the conditions of uh, functions i mean so first we will do this so first we will list all the items all the square roots and then we will map or then we will filter them so let's say remove the filter here first here we will say all the square squares of all the numbers click the button and all the numbers have now been square, squared so 1 is 1 2 is 4 3 9 16 and so on but now we want to see all the numbers which are less than 50 so we will get till 49 so we can do this so number less than 5 here we will add filter then we will say it will take a it will take a parameter called let's say number again then it will return something like uh wait like this return you can say number less than five or make equal to fine save now click the button okay not five fifty sorry fifty yes now you will see all the numbers squared and then filtered on the condition that if it is less than 50 we will show it here see mapped array okay we only see two it, which are less than 50 hmm wait something is wrong here refresh page see mapped array now it's fine we are seeing all the numbers less than 50 after mapping so in the previous case we were filtering before and mapping after that but in this case we are mapping it first and then we're filtering so that's how map and filter works together in both cases so that's all now i hope you learned how map and filter works in javascript and react